like uh, psoriasis, uh, psoriasis they call it, or eczema, things like this. Oh. There is no cure for them medically, right. because the cause of it is not biological; it's, it's spiritual. Uh. Um, if if it's put in the food or lemonade or whatever they serve you in your food or drink, you eat it, it gets stuck in your stomach or your intestinal tracts, and can give you like constant constipation or constant diarrhea or uh, it can give you ulcers, uh, heartburns, things like this that Interesting. you can take medicine to alleviate the symptoms but as soon as you stop taking the medicine it keeps coming back and so these my, are... My, my wife's symptoms are um, instantaneous whoops boy well that's interesting isn't it I, I always find things interesting let me get this last one it's funny how they make those bottles. Um, let me, because what I'm wondering is, because yeah, you mentioned a whole bunch of ailments that are. Danny, where's my paper? Is this it? Okay, I'm gonna leave it here. Okay. Yeah. Before we start everything, I wanted to kind of review what happened with my uh, wife in terms of the timeline. On April 25th is when she had that gin attack yeah. that I mentioned. On May 3rd, these are like all like close to weekends. On May 3rd, um, after she gardened, her illness started. Like the next day, yeah. it started. Yeah. And then she thinks the gin possession, if that's what it is, was on the 9th of May. Okay. Um, what is what is her diagnosis with doctors? Yeah, I don't like doctors. Um, blood test. The, the thyroid is acting up. That yeah. regulates metabolism, a whole bunch of body hormones, a whole yeah. bunch of things. So that's acting up. Um, she has a low grade fever. She has pain and swelling from the wrist down and from the ankles down. Yeah. The, the rest of the body is a little swollen but no pain. So they're saying that's rheumatoid arthritis. They did a test, she tested positive for rheumatoid arthritis. All these other tests were negative, like for certain um, uh, fevers, like dengue and gungees or some type of something yes, that starts with the, diseases. Yeah, all these, all these strange yeah. diseases that she could have brought back from Malaysia here. Yeah. And they said it could have been delayed because she was taking the blood thinning medicines with her blood clot. Yeah. I don't know, well the blood clot I think because she was just sitting too long, I don't think that had anything to do with anything. So that's kind of the timeline and what's going on. So I guess my question would be is, if, if a gin goes inside of you, the body, it's, it's going to be like a foreign body, like a virus. It's not going to like it, it's going to fight it. What, what does a body exhibit normally when a gin goes into the body? Well, there's normally an immune system response also you feel movement in the body like a muscle spasm here and there you feel it um also you know it's in the stomach like i explained the stomach acid the stomach will keep producing acid to 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 digest whatever is there but because it's not physical it doesn't touch it but the body senses so you there get is something ulcers there. as a result yeah. over time and also like you these. get inflammation on your skin if it's on your body some people they put magic on their hands and they, they touch you here like this. So you get like <coughs> pains on the arms and things like this. Mm. So the body senses something is there and tries to get rid of it through its natural healing mechanism, but ends up showing up as, as, a, as you know, the cells go to sick because it keeps going back and forth. So it turns, sometimes turns into cancer, sometimes, uh, I mean, it's it, it, right. horribly wrong, yeah. Right, in the end. So I, I guess it's kind of normal for if a gin's in you for, for that you get fever yeah. to, and, and pain and, and stuff like that in the joints. And then if it's left untreated in terms of this foreign invader, instead of just being in the extremities, which I guess get affected first, it, is, it starts settling into yes. all the joints. Yes. Okay, so it kind of makes sense. Because... I don't know how a doctor can work in a profession where they don't know the cause and they have no cure. How can a doctor feel comfortable with themselves that they're taking care of patients where they, they don't know the two ends? That's true. Yeah. How, how frustrating can that be? Yeah. Wow, okay, so... Most of the medicine, Western medicine, it's all symptom management. Right. Most of them. They, 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 I mean, of course, some things you do need them, surgical process and things like this. Right. 
but the uh, majority of the things, you know, it's, it's just they suppress the symptoms, that's it. And then as soon as you, you take off their medicine, the symptoms come back because the, the source of the thing is still there. There's no incentive. Someone told me something, something so basic that you already know, but I never thought about it. Medicine is not um, the whole industry. Um, pills and medicine and doctors and everything is not to provide a cure because yeah. if they provide a cure, then they're not needed. So they have to, like you say, they they manage the symptoms, and if you take that management off, you get worse. So it's a lifelong money making proposition, and that is unbelievable to me. My my wife said that they had a Chinese doctor in her town. Give me your hand. He would just go like this. He would feel the hand. Yeah. And know exactly what was wrong with you. That's all he did, just the hand. He breathed energy. Yeah, right. Yeah. And then he would give you his Chinese stuff, and you would get better in a couple days. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look up this guy, Hakim Archuleta. Oops. Let's see, Hakim. What is it? Archuleta. Archuleta. Okay. This guy is a. Uh, studied medicine from the Islamic perspective and this is tradition it's called hikmah wisdom right because uh, medicine is actually wisdom because you have to know how the creation works in order to be able to to to, to do things with it so the prophetic medicine and you know the, the prescriptions that you know the old ancient hakims had given talks about very interesting that so, sounds good. So he wrote a book or he, just he, search YouTube and so on? Yeah, up. there's six lecture series on YouTube. I think the channel is Islam on Demand. Oh, okay. Is this? Oops. Oh, so that's the whole the incense things. Yeah. Let's see. It is. Okay. Oh, Danny, can you turn the Quran down a little bit just in case the audio isn't going to pick things up right? So again, if she takes the hot water with the leaves and has no reaction, then the most likely there's yeah, if no... If she has just diarrhea but no pain in her stomach, then that means there's no magic in the stomach. But if she has pain and diarrhea, then there is something there. And it's, it's, it's the Qur'an water, of course, you're using Qur'an water. So the Qur'an burns that, and that's what causes the pain. And this will help flush it out, because the, the Qur'an weakens it. And uh, she has to do this until there is no pain, but just diarrhea. I see. So she will get diarrhea no matter what. Yeah. Okay. Because it's, it's a very powerful laxative. So and keep taking that until the pain is gone. Yeah. And you do that for the 12 days? For 12 days, yeah. And the Prophet actually... It's probably best just to do it anyway, even if you're not having tummy pain. Just yeah, the Prophet Sassam, he actually talked about this herb. He said, drink senna even if once a year, because uh, it's, it's, it's a cleansing. You know, it, it, it. Right, right. I mean, they have so many, my wife has a, a, a sia or whatever, yeah. cleanse or whatever, everything's colon cleanse. So yeah. we had this in Islam, you know, near 1500 years ago. How interesting, okay. Uh, well, I mean, the Chinese had it 5,000 years ago. We can't take credit. Yeah. <laughs> Very interesting. Oops. Okay, so what we do, also the honey. Yep, open it. Yeah, and the drinking water. Oh, okay. Yep. You want water. everything near you then? Yeah. Like here, okay. The bathing water you don't need to do because that's got the yeah, we put words that put the other in. I mean, we could, we could blow in there too just for extra. Oh, yeah, you wanted me to take the paper out because it should be all dissolved, and it is. Are you hungry or anything? I'm good, thank you, brother. This, that's not going to burn anytime soon. Yeah, just. Yep. You can leave it on the porch or something. Okay. I'm thinking if we put it like in the toaster oven, it'll probably burn up in there. You, you want to collect the ashes too, right? I'm going to put it back in the water. So. You can open yeah, the top of this too. You can just move it here. It's colder outside than it is inside. I'll hang it on here. Okay, class, we are ready. I think we should just get rid of these. 
and you just have to do this once and then you can just keep using this stuff and it, it will hold the Quran yeah I got a lot more water than we needed because I figure you know we'll have it for uh, next time <laughs> well, hopefully not but I mean the, the Quran bath even if you have nothing wrong with you it's just a good source it's a good way of protection oh on a bath do you take a normal bath first and then kind it's of do a little soul with yeah. this? Right, that's it's what I thought. Yeah. Right. Otherwise this gets really dirty. Yeah. <laughs> okay. The best way of course is not to let and it this in bath, the rain. it's pretty much just pouring the water over you. Yeah. Okay. It's just one uh, three times over your head, three times right shoulder, three times left shoulder, and just scrub your body. Right, just kind so of every rub part it down. Of body gets wet, yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, let's start, inshallah. Any other questions before we start? I know it's probably written down, but... Uh, okay, inshallah, I'm ready. Okay. okay. So we can start with Surah Fatiha. Okay. Recite it 40 times, I'm just blow on everything, and then we'll start reading the verses that's uh, targeting against black men. Uh, like I guess I guess you're good at counting. I'm not good at counting no 40 problem. times. Okay, but, so oh, you're going to use your fingers. Use the fingers. Okay. We all do it together. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Malik Yawm Al-Din Iyaka Na'bud wa Iyaka Nasta'in Ihdina Sarat Al-Mustafim Sarat Al-Ladhin Al-Amta Alayhim Wa Al-Maldub Alayhim Wa Al-Dhalin Bismillahi Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Malik Yawm Al-Din Iyaka Na'bud wa Iyaka Nasta'in Ihdina Sarat Al-Mustafim Sarat Al-Ladhin Al-Amta Alayhim Wa Al-Maldub Alayhim Wa Al-Dhalin بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم
الكريم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين 
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين So that's the first portion, Surah Fatiha. Now we're going to do the verses of, of Black Magic. These are verses in uh, Surah Taha, Surah uh, Taha, Surah Araf, and Surah Yunus. And all of them are the encounter Musa Salam had with the magicians. And he says Allah is going to destroy your magic with his words. Right, so right, these right. are the verses. These are 40 times or just 11 once? times. 11 times, 11 times. okay. And uh, I'll just go through them, and then we'll do Qul Huwa Allah Ahad, Falaq Nas, 11 times each after that. Okay. You'll be, you'll, you'll be doing those a lot. We don't know these. No problem. Yep. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Ar-Rajim. Bismillah Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim. First ayat of Qursi. Allahu la ilaha illa wa al-hayu al-qayyum la ta'akhudhu wa sinatu wa la na'um lahu ma fi al-samawat wa ma fi al-ard. Man al-ladhi yashfa'un dahu illa bi-idhni. يعلم ما بين أيديهم وما خلفهم ولا يحيطون بشيء من علمه إلا بما شاء وسع كرسيه والسماوات والأرض ولا يعوضهم حفظهما وهو العلي العظيم الله لا إله إلا هو الحي القيوم لا تأخذه سنة ولا نوم له ما في السماوات وما في الأرض من الذي يشفى عنده إلا بإذنه يعلم ما بين أيديهم وما خلفهم ولا يحيطون بشيء من علمه إلا بما شاء وسع كرسيه السماوات والأرض ولا يعوضهم حفظهما وهو العلي العظيم الله لا إله إلا هو الحي القيوم لا تأخذه سنة ولا نوم له ما في السماوات وما في الأرض من ذا الذي يشفى عنده إلا بإذنه يعلم ما بين أيديهم وما خلفهم ولا يحيطون بشيء من علمه إلا بما شاء وسع كرسيه السماوات والأرض ولا يعوضه حفظهما وهو العلي العظيم الله لا إله إلا هو الحي القيوم لا تأخذه سنة ولا نوم له ما في السماوات وما في الأرض من ذا الذي يشفى عنده إلا بإذنه يعلم ما بين أيديهم وما خلفهم ولا يحيطون بشيء من علمه إلا بما شاء وسع كرسيه السماوات والأرض ولا يعوضه حفظهما وهو العلي العظيم الله لا إله إلا هو الحي القيوم لا تأخذه سنة ولا نوم له ما في السماوات وما في الأرض من ذا الذي يشفى عنده إلا بإذنه يعلم ما بين أيديهم وما خلفهم ولا يحيطون بشيء من علمه إلا بما شاء وسع كرسيه السماوات والأرض ولا يعوضه حفظهما وهو العلي العظيم الله لا إله إلا هو الحي القيوم لا تأخذه سنة ولا نوم له ما في السماوات وما في الأرض من ذا الذي يشفى عنده إلا بإذنه يعلم ما بين أيديهم وما خلفهم ولا يحيطون بشيء من علمه إلا بما شاء وسع كرسيه السماوات والأرض ولا يعوضه حفظهما وهو العلي العظيم الله لا إله إلا هو الحي القيوم لا تأخذه سنة ولا نوم له ما في السماوات وما في الأرض من الذي يشفى عنده إلا بإذنه يعلم ما بين أيديهم وما خلفهم ولا يحيطون بشيء من علمه إلا بما شاء وسع كرسيه السماوات والأرض ولا يعوضه حفظهما وهو العلي العظيم الله لا إله إلا هو الحي القيوم لا تأخذه سنة ولا نوم له ما في السماوات وما في الأرض من الذي يشفى عنده إلا بإذنه يعلم ما بين أيديهم وما خلفهم ولا يحيطون بشيء من علمه إلا بما شاء وسع كرسيه السماوات والأرض ولا يعوضه حفظهما وهو العلي العظيم الله لا إله إلا هو الحي القيوم لا تأخذه سنة ولا نوم له ما في السماوات وما في الأرض من الذي يشفى عنده إلا بإذنه يعلم ما بين أيديهم وما خلفهم ولا يحيطون بشيء من علمه إلا بما شاء 
وسر كرسيه السماوات والأرض ولا يعوده وحفظهما وهو العلي العظيم الله لا إله إلا هو الحي القيوم لا تأخذه سنة ولا نوم له ما في السماوات وما في الأرض من ذا الذي يشفى عنده إلا بإذنه يعلم ما بين أيديهم وما خلفهم ولا يحيطون بشيء من علمه إلا بما شاء وسع كرسيه السماوات والأرض ولا يعوده وحفظهما وهو العلي العظيم الله لا إله إلا هو الحي القيوم لا تأخذه سنة ولا نوم له ما في السماوات وما في الأرض من ذا الذي يشفى عنده إلا بإذنه يعلم ما بين أيديهم وما خلفهم ولا يحيطون بشيء من علمه إلا بما شاء وسع كرسيه السماوات والأرض ولا يعوده حفظهما وهو العلي العظيم recited so fast. <laughs> it's like, wow. <laughs> I never thought of doing such a thing. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وأوحينا إلى موسى أن ألقي صاك فهي تلقف ما يأفكون فوقع الحق وبتل ما كانوا يعملون وغلبوا هنالك وانقلبوا صاغرين وألقي السحرة ساجدين قالوا آمنا برب العالمين رب موسى وهارون وأوحينا إلى موسى أن ألقي صاك فهي تلقف ما يأفكون فوقع الحق وبتل ما كانوا يعملون وغلبوا هنالك وانقلبوا صاغرين وألقي السحرة ساجدين قالوا آمنا برب العالمين رب موسى وهارون وأوحينا إلى موسى أن ألقي صاك فهي تلقف فما يأفكون فوقع الحق وبتل ما كانوا يعملون وغلبوا هنالك وانقلبوا صاغرين والقي سحرة ساجدين قالوا آمنا برب العالمين رب موسى وهارون وأوحينا إلى موسى نلقي صاك فهي تلقف ما يأفكون فوقع الحق وبتل ما كانوا يعملون وغلبوا هنالك وانقلبوا صاغرين والقي السحرة ساجدين قالوا آمنا برب العالمين رب موسى وهارون وأوحينا إلى موسى نلقي صاك فهي تلقف ما يأفكون فوقع الحق وبتل ما كانوا يعملون وغلبوا هنالك وانقلبوا صاغرين والقي السحرة ساجدين قالوا آمنا برب العالمين رب موسى وهارون وأوحينا إلى موسى نلقي صاك فهي تلقف ما يأفكون فوقع الحق وبتل ما كانوا يعملون وغلبوا هنالك وانقلبوا قلب صاغرين <تصفيق> والقي السحرة ساجدين قالوا آمنا برب العالمين رب موسى وهارون وأوحينا إلى موسى نلقي صاك فهي تلقف ما يأفكون فوقع الحق وبتل ما كانوا يعملون وغلبوا هنالك وانقلبوا صاغرين والقي السحرة ساجدين قالوا آمنا برب العالمين رب موسى وهارون وأوحينا إلى موسى نلقي صاك فهي تلقف ما يأفكون فوقع الحق وبتل ما كانوا يعملون وغلبوا هنالك وانقلبوا صاغرين والقي السحرة ساجدين قالوا آمنا برب العالمين رب موسى وهارون وأوحينا إلى موسى نلقي صاك فهي تلقف ما يأفكون فوقع الحق وبتل ما كانوا يعملون وغلبوا هنالك وانقلبوا صاغرين والقي السحرة ساجدين قالوا آمنا برب العالمين رب موسى وهارون وأوحينا إلى موسى نلقي صاك فهي تلقف ما يأفكون فوقع الحق وبتل ما كانوا يعملون وغلبوا هنالك وانقلبوا صاغرين والقي السحرة ساجدين قالوا آمنا برب العالمين رب موسى وهارون وأوحينا إلى موسى القي أصاك فهي تلقف ما يأفكون فوقع الحق وبتل ما كانوا يعملون وغلبوا هنالك وانقلبوا صاغرين والقي السحرة ساجدين قالوا آمنا برب العالمين رب موسى وهارون قلنا لا تخف إنك أنت لأعلى وألقي ما في يمينك تلقف ما سنعوا إنما سنعوا كيد ساحر ولا يفلح الساحر حيث أتى قلنا لا تخف إنك أنت لأعلى وألقي ما في يمينك تلقف ما سنعوا إنما سنعوا كيد ساحر ولا يفلح الساحر حيث أتى قلنا لا تخف إنك أنت لأعلى وألقي ما في يمينك تلقف ما سنعوا إنما سنعوا كيد ساحر ولا يفلح الساحر حيث أتى قلنا لا تخف إنك أنت لأعلى والقمة في يمينك تلقف ما سنعوا إنما سنعوا كيد ساحر ولا يفلح الساحر حيث أتى قلنا لا تخف إنك أنت لأعلى والقمة في يمينك تلقف ما سنعوا إنما سنعوا كيد ساحر ولا يفلح الساحر حيث أتى قلنا لا تخف إنك أنت لأعلى والقمة في يمينك تلقف ما سنعوا إنما سنعوا كيد ساحر ولا يفلح الساحر حيث أتى قلنا لا تخف إنك أنت لأعلى والقمة في يمينك تلقف ما سنعوا إنما سنعوا كيد ساحر ولا يفلح الساحر حيث أتى قلنا لا تخف إنك أنت لأعلى والقمة في يمينك تلقف ما سنعوا إنما سنعوا كيد ساحر ولا يفلح الساحر حيث أتى 
قلنا لا تخف إنك أنت لا على ورق ما في يمينك تلقف ما سنع إنما سنع كيد ساحر ولا يفلح الساحر حيث أتى قلنا لا تخف إنك أنت لا على ورق ما في يمينك تلقف ما سنع إنما سنع كيد ساحر ولا يفلح الساحر حيث أتى قلنا لا تخف إنك أنت لا على ورق ما في يمينك تلقف ما سنع إنما سنع كيد ساحر ولا يفلح الساحر حيث أتى فلما ألقوا قال موسى ما جئتم بحس حر إن الله سيبطل وإن الله لا يستحى مل المفسدين ويحق الله الحق بكلماته ولو كره المجرمون فلما ألقوا قال موسى ما جئتم بحس حر إن الله سيبطل وإن الله لا يستحى مل المفسدين ويحق الله الحق بكلماته ولو كره المجرمون فلما ألقوا قال موسى ما جئتم بحس حر إن الله سيبطل وإن الله لا يستحى مل المفسدين ويحق الله الحق بكلماته ولو كره المجرمون فلما ألقوا قال موسى ما جئتم به السحر إن الله سيبطل إن الله لا يصلح عمل المفسدين ويحق الله الحق بكلماته ولو كره المجرمون فلما ألقوا قال موسى ما جئتم به السحر إن الله سيبطل إن الله لا يصلح عمل المفسدين ويحق الله الحق بكلماته ولو كره المجرمون فلما ألقوا قال موسى ما جئتم به السحر إن الله سيبطل إن الله لا يصلح عمل المفسدين ويحق الله الحق بكلماته ولو كره المجرمون فلما ألقوا قال موسى ما جئتم به السحر إن الله سيبطل إن الله لا يصلح عمل المفسدين ويحق الله الحق بكلماته ولو كره المجرمون فلما ألقوا قال موسى ما جئتم به السحر إن الله سيبطل إن الله لا يصلح عمل المفسدين ويحق الله الحق بكلماته ولو كره المجرمون فلما ألقوا قال موسى ما جئتم به السحر إن الله سيبطل إن الله لا يصلح عمل المفسدين ويحق الله الحق بكلماته ولو كره المجرمون فلما ألقوا قال موسى ما جئتم به السحر إن الله سيبطل إن الله سيبطل إن الله لا يصلح عمل المفسدين ويحق الله الحق بكلماته ولو كره المجرمون فلما ألقوا قال موسى ما جئتم به السحر إن الله سيبطل إن الله لا يصلح عمل المفسدين ويحق الله الحق بكلماته ولو كره المجرمون أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد 
Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Kul huvallahu ahad. Allahu samad. Lem yelid ve lem yulad ve lem yekun lehu kufuan ahad. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Kul huvallahu ahad. Allahu samad. Lem yelid ve lem yulad ve lem yekun lehu kufuan ahad. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Kul huvallahu ahad. Allahu samad. Lem yelid ve lem yulad ve lem yekun lehu kufuan ahad. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Kul huvallahu ahad. Allahu samad. Lem yelid ve lem yulad ve lem yekun lehu kufuan ahad. Auzu billahi mineşşeytanı racim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. قل أعوذ برب الفلق من شر ما خلق ومن شر غاسق إذا وقب ومن شر النفاثات في الأقد ومن شر حاسد إذا حسد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الفلق من شر ما خلق ومن شر غاسق إذا وقب ومن شر النفاثات في الأقد ومن شر حاسد إذا حسد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الفلق من شر ما خلق ومن شر غاسق إذا وقب ومن شر النفاثات في الأقد ومن شر حاسد إذا حسد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الفلق من شر ما خلق ومن شر غاسق إذا وقب ومن شر النفاثات في الأقد ومن شر حاسد إذا حسد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الفلق من شر ما خلق ومن شر غاسق إذا وقب ومن شر النفاثات في الأقد ومن شر حاسد إذا حسد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الفلق من شر ما خلق ومن شر غاسق إذا وقب ومن شر النفاثات في الأقد ومن شر حاسد إذا حسد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الفلق من شر ما خلق ومن شر غاسق إذا وقب ومن شر النفاثات في الأقد ومن شر حاسد إذا حسد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الفلق من شر ما خلق ومن شر غاسق إذا وقب ومن شر النفاثات في الأقد ومن شر حاسد إذا حسد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الفلق من شر ما خلق ومن شر غاسق إذا وقب ومن شر النفاثات في الأقد ومن شر حاسد إذا حسد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الفلق من شر ما خلق ومن شر غاسق إذا وقب ومن شر النفاثات في الأقد ومن شر حاسد إذا حسد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الفلق من شر ما خلق ومن شر غاسق إذا وقب ومن شر النفاثات في الأقد ومن شر حاسد إذا حسد <تصفيق> أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الناس ملك الناس إله الناس من شر الوسواس الخناس الذي يوسوس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الناس ملك الناس إله الناس من شر الوسواس الخناس الذي يوسوس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الناس ملك الناس إله الناس من شر الوسواس الخناس الذي يوسوس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الناس ملك الناس إله الناس من شر الوسواس الخناس الذي يوسوس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الناس ملك الناس إله الناس من شر الوسواس الخناس الذي يوسوس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الناس ملك الناس إله الناس من شر الوسواس الخناس الذي يوسوس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الناس ملك الناس إله الناس من شر الوسواس الخناس الذي يوسوس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الناس ملك الناس إله الناس من شر الوسواس الخناس الذي يوسوس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الناس ملك الناس إله الناس من شر الوسواس الخناس الذي يوسوس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الناس ملك الناس إله الناس من شر الوسواس الخناس الذي يوسوس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل أعوذ برب الناس ملك الناس إله الناس من شر الوسواس الخناس الذي يوسوس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس
guys want to also have a little bit? I mean, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah, I'll probably need more paper then. No, I'll just write it on the symbol. Just... Okay. Oh, we just cut it. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> this is actually the word of the Prophet He said to re to recite this as much as you can. Allahu Allahu Rabbi La ilaha illahu. Allah Allah is my Lord. There is no God except Him. Mm -hmm. But it's very simple for us because it's, it's, we know this information. Right. But it's very powerful. Mm -hmm. Very powerful. from our daughter too, so do we need five of them? Yeah. And the thing with writing it down after reciting, when you recite Quran, there's a there's a light that 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 comes that, that gathers in this place. Mm. So when you write it down and blow on it, you capture all of that light. Uh. So so it, it stays with you. So that's that's the point of keeping it with you. So mm. like everything we did now for protection, mm -hmm. it's all in here now. Uh. Maybe we do six because we have my son coming home. Uh, let me recite Surah Al-Kaf first in ayat on this also. Okay. From the journey of the Fatiha. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Ar-Rajim Bismillah Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Alhamdulillah Illa Di Anzal Ala Abdi Al-Kitab Wa Lam Yaj'a Allahu Iwaja Qayyiman Li Yudhira Ba'asan Shadeedan Min Ladun Huwa Yubashir Al-Mu'minin Al-Ladhina Ya'amaloon Al-Salihati Anna Lahum Ajran Hasana Ma Kithina Fihi Abada ويذر الذين قالوا اتخذ الله ولدا ما لهم من ما لهم من ما لهم به من علم ولا لآبائهم كبرت كلمة تخرج من أفواههم 
يقولون إلا كذبا فلعلك باخع نفسك على آثارهم إن لم يؤمنوا بهذا الحديث يا سفا إن جعلنا ما على الأرض زينة لها لنبلوهم أيهم أحسن عملا وإن لجاعلون ما عليها سعيدا جرزا أم حسبت أن أصحاب الكهف والرقيم كانوا من آياتنا عجبا إذا والفتية إلى الكهف فقالوا ربنا آتنا من لدنك رحمة وهيئ لنا من أمرنا رشدا ربنا آتنا من لدنك رحمة وهيئ لنا من أمرنا رشدا ربنا آتنا من لدنك رحمة وهيئ لنا من أمرنا رشدا Because what you use? want to do is, you're going. She's going to wash with this, right? And also spray the house. Ah, and okay. So we. Oh, yeah. oh, I do have a spray bottle. Um, let me let me find one. I do have one, and I use it for my videos. And uh, what you do with the incense? Whoever is afflicted, or feel like you have pulled the muscle spasms and things like this, and you think it might be a gin. Just light it, wear it over something, and smoke it inside you. It's like a smoke bomb in this thing. So. Alright, you guys are armed. <laughs> and of course this, it's a, it will give you diarrhea if you drink it. But how you prepare this? You take a Quran water, put one a small teaspoon of this, boil it. Let it simmer for, for a few minutes and then drink it. Okay. And Quran water is going to take off this magic if it's been eaten and uh, this will flush it out. If you feel pain, then there is something in there. You should do it. Because in my case, when I was trying to get married, it wasn't working out. I found out what it was. And after this stuff, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave this an opening. Um, of course, he came to help, and you know, Allah brought all these different sources together all at once, within like a month. But I tried since 18. I was 18 years old, trying to get married until 25. Nothing would work. As soon as we did this, within a month, everything came together. So it was long overdue. Any questions? Like everything is good. Yeah, all of this yeah, stuff now has been has been made holy. It's been spiritually yeah. charged. We'll buy a spray bottle. I had one. I think I returned it. I don't want to like clean one and use this in it. Yeah, so so basically, what you do with the spray bottle, you put Quran water in there, not the drinking one, of course, the the, the one you wash yourself with. Okay. And uh, you spray all the walls, all the ceilings. Except bathrooms. So okay. with the exception of bathrooms, everywhere in the house, uh, if you have an attic, the attic, laundry room, uh, every small corners, you know, in the house that the gin might be in, and you do this for 12 days. Not the whole wall, just kind of a yeah, just 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 kind of just like one. But if there's cracks in the wall, get inside the cracks. Okay. You know, like especially in the garage and things like this, places like this. And all of your furniture, of course, and behind the furniture. And uh, this water, it had, we dissolved the thing in it. That's right. Uh, I got it drying over there, hanging okay. on the chair. That paper has 45 different verses that are specific to 45 different kinds of magic. Okay. Um, if I mean, if you're comfortable with that little bit of soap that fell on it, uh, you can take like a half a cup and add it to the drinking water. So yeah, that that won't be a problem. Okay, just half a cup. Okay. Get a cup. So so you get the benefit of the forty-five verses. So we didn't we didn't negate everything by me spilling that. Yeah. No, no. Or or the gin causing me to spill it. 
Did you guys feel anything when we were setting? Yeah, my throat was like sore. <laughs> Me and Phil Keys were. I noticed when we were reciting Kuhuwala Hua Hud yeah. that you were choking and coughing. I was choking and coughing. Were you guys choking and coughing? Only that one. The other ones, it was like no problem. It was very, very strange. Yeah. I'm going one cup because I doubled everything. <laughs> oh, just FYI. My wife told me a long ago and she told me last night. All of this, she goes, I don't believe in that. I think it's because of what happens in her country, maybe there's a lot of phony people who do yeah. this. So. Um, maybe that's a normal reaction, yeah. or maybe she's really convinced in her mind that she doesn't believe it at all. But to me, I, I know how things work. It doesn't matter if you do or don't. It like will work if things are happening to you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah if, if so I don't know if that's like a problem with her having that attitude. No, no, no. Okay, it isn't. It's fine. Okay. Uh, tell her it's not the stuff. It's the Quran. Exactly right. So, you can't doubt the Quran. And then. Uh, well, and the enough. power of the voice, because the the Quran's magic is, is through the voice, yeah. uh, like the um, the miracle or whatever you want to call it. It's not it's not the the written words. It's, even even that's the right. written words, even okay. the written words, it's, okay. it's, it's very powerful. Uh, like this, we wrote here. And it's just just Allahu uh, Allahu Rabbi la ilaha illahu. Yeah, I guess I'm not making myself clear. It's In, in terms of the um, miracle, the, the miracle isn't... Yeah, the Qur'an is to be recited. Right. It's it's not a physical thing, per se. Because yes. yes. sound can be captured and recorded, but it's like, once you say it, it disappears. It's like, I guess that's what I mean. You're right there. <laughs> and also the, the meaning, because words have meaning. Right. And, and it has energy. Yeah, the, yeah, the meaning in, inside yeah. the minds and, and like you say, energy. Yeah. Like you recite to the mountain, the mountain can just turn to dust. That's true. Yeah. yeah. And then it's it's not just whether we understand it or not, the meaning is there. And Allah has put that meaning there. And it's it's very vast meaning, very powerful meaning. And so you know, even if you write the symbols in, in Arabic language or you write it in English transliteration, as long as that word is there, that sound is there, then then it's it's still effective. Right, yeah. right. Even if you print it, which is the case we find with the, the printing dissolving water. Right. Yep. I wish I made a video of it, like dispersing. That was kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah, it was very it comes interesting. Off. Yeah, it just comes on and swirls around, and then it just like disappears. Yeah. Oh, you close it enough. So I'm just like working on it one by one. Who knows what this goes in there? I guess this goes in this one. You guys want to help? Yeah, except for, you know, we'll, when, when I did we'll this blame, we'll blame in the my house, I spilled the olive oil and oh. the gas. <laughs> we'll blame the gin. I mean, we had some wind come through, but that's just the, uh, the wind. Yeah. But, uh, okay, I'll get these back in here. Okay. Now, I don't know if lighting the incense, you use matches or you just use a propane torch, but I got both. Because who knows, it doesn't, I, as long as you get sometimes the smoke things out. matter, yeah. as long as you get the smoke out, okay. Because yeah, this has been charged with Qur'an, so when you light it, that smoke that diffuses everywhere, yep. it's, it's Qur'anic smoke. Ah. So. And then you boys can carry this upstairs to our bathroom. Um, 
So I, I guess that's it for all this. Alhamdulillah. Now, um, now begins the Inquisition. Are you ready for the Inquisition? No problem. Okay. Not the, the Spanish Inquisition. Well, I don't it was know. It's horrible. Don't worry, we won't be getting the screws out. Oh, oh, first, see, um, if, if you could please sit over here. This is your, your um, torture chair. <laughs> and then we're going to move the camera over there. Oh, sorry, you don't know you're being filmed. I'll let you look at that, Danny. We're trying to do things stealthily because we, we, we figure if people know they're being recorded, even though all of the, and the angels are recording everything we do, it's yeah. like when we have the physical thing that we see, yeah. it can influence us. So we're, we're trying to be stealth, but we're not stealth anymore. Let's see. Um, you want to check it, Danny, and make sure I'm right position right. Sorry. Let's see. I've got this stuff. I've got that one. And then that. And then this. I'll, I'll open it up to the boys first. Do you have questions? Since we have undivided attention, I mean, he cannot escape the house because of three against one. Even though he has all this martial arts training, I think we can still take him. I guess <laughs> for the paper, you just cut it out and keep it on there. Yeah, just keep it on you. Don't take it to the bathroom. Uh, just until things calm down. And then just memorize the lines on there. You can walk around and say that you can sing it the whole number of It's very, very easy on the tongue. And it's, it's a hadith from the Prophet you know, he said, make the dhikr. And uh, one of the other hadith, he says, the end of time will not come as long as there is one person saying Allah, Allah. So it starts with Allah, Allah. So basically deterring, I mean, of course you can deter it. It's already said when it comes. But as long as we're saying it, we could be you know, relatively feeling safe that it will not happen in our time. I was just FYI, the, the um, gift is for your son. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't, don't forget it, otherwise my wife will have other reasons to be um, upset. No <laughs> Besides whatever might be inside her, what other questions you got? Nothing? Wow, you got them here. Okay, what about you, Danny? Everybody's boring. Well, you know me, I always have questions. Okay, so we went through my wife, so we got that one for you. Um, let's see if I got one that's not too intense. Okay, did you have a chance to talk to the Sheikh about that dream about jumping and running and you know, tripping into a hole? Yeah. Uh, I didn't talk to him, but I'll just tell you what, what I understand you guys. Okay. Your brother is struggling with some temptation. That's, that's what it is, the whole Okay. So, I mean, otherwise, he's free, but there is this one vice he, he has to overcome. Ah, well, that totally makes sense. Okay. Got that one. So, nothing to do with the Day of Judgment, and I know you kind of thought that maybe it had something to do with, not the day of judgment, but, but the end of times. The, the one, the running through the fields and yeah. flying? No. Yeah, no. Okay. This person will be. Okay. Let's see. Okay, that one, I know you can go into a, a big discussion. This is the one where I felt conflicted, where supposed to emulate the prophet, we're not supposed to do more than the prophet, but whenever it comes to people saying to ask forgiveness, we always have to do more than the prophet asked. At least that's the impression I always get when people say that about he did it seven times a day, well if he did it seventy we should do it more because we're worse than him. But then we shouldn't, in my mind, because we're not supposed to do more than he did. So what is the okay, verdict on that? That's a good question. <laughs> uh, the concept of you're not supposed to do more than the prophet, it applies on certain aspects of the religion. Um, for example, the prophet Sallallahu Alaihi said, uh, don't do what I forbid you to do, and do as much as you can what I've commanded you to do, as much as you can. Now this is, the scholars have said, you know, unanimously, this, the prophet is talking about optional things. So obligatory things you have to do regardless. You know. right. But the optional things, he said, do as much as you can. Now, as far as uh, 
seeking forgiveness, this is one thing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about in the Quran and he's you know he highlights every single Prophet's story, Nuh alayhi salam highlights it, Hud highlights it, Saleh highlights it, and they always talk about make istighfar. And Allah he commands in the Quran saying make istighfar. And istighfar is of course seeking forgiveness for sins. Mm -hmm. uh, the Prophet وسلم, he said make istighfar, he said even I make istighfar 70 times a day. And of course he's without sin, you know, he's about sin. Right. So from that the scholars have said the Prophet وسلم, he doesn't have to make istighfar. Right. But he did to teach us that nobody can be too good to make istighfar. And so for that reason, you know, uh, the Prophet وسلم, he said, I make at least 70 a day. Uh, the scholars have said the number 7, 70, 700, 7,000, 70,000, all of those means multiple. Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean 70. Mm -hmm. It could mean 700, you know. Uh, so it just means a lot. Right. And so for that reason, you know, the scholars have said, Astaghfar, as much as you can make, it's, it's actually one of the vicars that's, you know, there's a, a clear permission from Allah and from his prophet and its encouragement. Mm -hmm. And uh, there are few invocations that have this. Uh, sending salams on the Prophet uh, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah uh, making istighfar. Uh, other than that, like invoking the divine names, you know, ya, ya Allah, Ya Hawi, you know, all of these, if you do it too much, you could end up hurting yourself. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, every single one of them has an effect. And so, you know, because of that, you know, the scholars, if you have to have a teacher who's, who's an authority in the spiritual realms of the deen, and they can assess people because every person has different qualities, and, and a, a name that's fiery could, could hurt a person who's got short temper, but he needs a name that, that cools him down, and, you know, so it's like medicine. You have over-the-counter medicine, you have uh, prescription medicine, and so the, the salawat on the Prophet وسلم, making istighfar, these things, these are over the counter. But the prescription ones, then it gets to like divine names and like repeating certain surah or verse 500 times a day, things like this. Um, and then, you know, there are many, many people that, that do these without proper knowledge and they end up getting into a spiritual psychosis. They go crazy. Right, this is the, the problem I have with, with um, some cultures, I'll say, they, they like to make everything difficult, unfortunately, mm -hmm. and they like to study everything. Um, um, I personally, uh, as an example of how they are, I have to do everything that the Prophet did, plus everything the Companions did, plus everything that my Sheikh did, plus, 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 and, and everything, and like you say, you can't handle it. Because I, I remember the, the prescription that the prophet would give specific companions, like the, the example in email, don't lie. That was it. Yeah. It's like, and and certain inhabitants of, um, of heaven, he would say, you know, study this person. They just had one outstanding quality yeah. that was um, for them type of thing. Yeah. And then people try to take all of these things and try to apply it themselves. I guess my thing is try to find out what. What you need. What, what you need, right, exactly. In your life, try to find out what you need and work on that. And if other things come, they come. But you can't say, I got to do all these because then like, you get caught up. That's true. And then nothing's that's a benefit. The so that's, that's time, yeah. right, that, right. So I'm glad that you're saying that because I see so many people, I hear so many hutbas that are that way. And it's like, no. Yeah, but no, this the far, this the far is no problem with this the far. Right, right, in, yeah, terms, in terms of that, but I mean in terms of trying to emulate and do all of these different things, because yeah. you hear some clips that way, and it's yeah. like, it'd be nice if they, they have a, a, a hookah that kind of covers, try to find what Allah has for you, what, what okay, for me, it, it might be taking a walk, like we did, with nature, that's how I connect and how I, because, I, you know, it says reflect on the creation, yeah. and that's kind of how I do it sometimes. I do other things too, but that's like one of the main ones for me that works for me, yeah. or I can get connected. I can get too distracted in prayer type of thing, but all, when I'm out in nature, I really get focused. It's just, yeah. everyone's different. Okay, so that's that one. I also correction. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, among the other over-the-counter adhkar, 
before we come to that. Yes. <laughs> right, prescriptions. Uh, yeah, the prescriptions, the Prophet did give us some formulas. For example, if you say, La ilaha illallah wa akhtaru la sharika la lahu al-mulku wa al-hamd wa huwa la kulli shan qadir, 100 times after Fajr. He said, every 10 times you say it, it, it has the reward of freeing a slave. And he said, 100 times, you should, if you say it, even if your sins are as much as the foam at the edge of the ocean, Allah will forgive all of them. Uh, another one, uh, Subhanallah wa bihamdi. He said, say this as much as you can. Subhanallah wa bihamdi, Subhanallah wa bihamdi, Subhanallah wa bihamdi. Subhanallah wa bihamdi, Subhanallah wa bihamdi. He said, it's light on the tongue, but heavy on the scales. So there are some other athkar that... Right, yeah, there's some that he gave that are general for, permission general for yes. everyone. Yeah. But when he gave a specific one yes. for a specific person, yeah. and people try to apply that, that I need to do this, that's where I have that's a problem, true. I guess. And, and that, to me, those are examples of a self... Try to find it for yourself, yes. whatever it is. Yeah. You know, hopefully we do. I, I guess that's where I'm coming from. Let's see. Now, let's see. Um, now we're going to go into the gym. Let's see. First, I have an email. Okay. We have the devils, the, the shaitan. Um, they have names. What is a believing jinn called? That's it. They don't have a name to say, okay, okay. Because shaitan is not necessarily for, because for, in English you have devil, you have spirit. You have yeah, we have demon, 